I promise we will discuss the Void Gate further, but first I must attend the matter of the Vault Sentinels. As your instruments have no doubt informed you, the Capiculu have been reduced to so much scrap. Please bring a new one out of the storage and see that it is conveyed to, post to its post along the s with some few lesser constructs. Was it home, Ra it's home robbers? Being born of the Tower of Zolt? But the sisters, do not tell me a blasphemy yet runs free! It's just like, yeah. <laughs> Everyone just like so jealous. Guilty faces. Shelley, it is it you who are responsible for this? Oh. <clears throat> well, the details are not aren't important. I shall see it done immediately. I forgot to switch outfits. I forgot to switch back to Paladin. Nah. And with that, the vault will soon be secure once more. Now, I believe you had questions. Quite a few, in fact, but I'd like to begin with the gate itself. It is still functional, yes? Indeed, which is why I saw it sealed in with an alchemically forged lock and warded it with my magics. Such, ma such power must not fall into the wrong hands. In truth, the primary reason for the vault's construction was to keep the gates hidden from the outside world. So much effort was for such a little door. That little door you speak of leads to an abyss teeming with unspeakable horrors. That said, in its current state, it would emit only the lowliest of voices, and from this side, no man would be able to pass through. No man? I should think Alpha No would fit, given a form firm enough push. <laughs> Physical size is not one consideration. The true restriction hinges upon the etheric density of the soul in transit. And yet you succeeded in suspending in expanding this dimin diminutive portal and sending your simulacrum to the thirteenth. Thanks to my brilliant alchemist, I should have I should have destroyed the anomaly when I found it, but instead, I made them devise a means to control it. After much experimentation, they accomplished the impossible, a method which conceived by which my magics could, co mani could manipulate the fissure and transform it into a serviceable gate. But the process has long since been forgotten. Once I have given up searching for Azdaya, there was no need to preserve such esoteric and dangerous knowledge, thus the gates lay dormant for years uncounted. Our own passage to the 13th was made relatively simple thanks to the Crystal Tower. An ancient mechanism channeled the tower's vast stores of en energy to open a void gate, one bound to a covenant made with the cloud of darkness. Once the sovereign entity was beaten back, however, the covenant was broken and the doorway severed, severed from its connection to the void. There, theoretically, it should be possible to reconstruct the gate by forging a new part with another void sense, but such details usually end in betrayal and death. In any case, we should attempt to gain an understanding of the bounty's gate. Perhaps you would resume the search for your sister. As I have already explained, put those, I put those fatal hopes to rest centuries ago. My place and my duty is here now. Ah, oh, I had meant to ask what prompted you to search for the vault in the first place. <laughs> Damn, we throwing everyone under the bus today or what? <laughs> Mm. A 
As I recall, it was you who was chasing tales of the under of undersea ruins. Well, as you have seen, the fabulous wealth from the stories is quite real, if not its rumoured origin, but I'm afraid I must assert a prior claim. Been adding to the trove for years, little by little, but the time has come to spend it. That I might elevate my alleviate my people's sufferings. Then we are of one mind. We had no intention of taking it for ourselves. Isn't that right, my friend? <laughs> oh, so it was going to be spent on the people in anyway. <laughs> Your Excellency, would you object if I were to conduct a closer examination of the gate? I will make no attempt to open it, of course. I owe you and yours a debt that can never be repaid. Whatever boon you ask of me, you shall have it. You are most gracious. I shall take full advantage of your permission. With that, I could join thee in my, thy study, but the Lotbrits will be anxious to receive my report. I beg my leave of you. And I must be off to Charlian as well. Mistress Kryle was eager to speak with you about the request, so please come back to the Annex as soon as you are able. Farewell for now. We can discuss my findings once I return. You will not rid of me so easily. 